Hey everybody, welcome back to my weekend vlog. My name is Nontlantla Ondlovugati Wagwama Sangu. Happy weekend everybody. It is, I almost said it's Thursday, it's sun, Saturday. Just after 10 o'clock there in the morning, I've taken a shower, I've washed the dishes, I've been chilling. Sunday's bed just arrived. Um, like I mentioned, this is my, not my last Saturday, but this is literally the full week, the last weekend I will be here. I'm moving out next week, Sunday. And yeah, man, Sunday's bed just arrived. Um, I can't wait to leave here. There's nothing wrong with my current place. I just, I want a bigger place. But yeah, I just wanted to come out, say hey. Hey, how's everybody doing? I'm supposed to be at Marabastad right now buying uniform for my child. But here I am. I'm seriously supposed to be at Marabastad buying thing, uh, things for Umbilo, but he's still sleeping and I don't want to wake him up. I don't feel like conversations. But yeah, um, I don't know if I'm going to go, if I'm not going to go. I probably should go. I mean, this is the last free weekend I have. Next week, Friday, I'm going out with Omorong. Omorong is my friend. And then Saturday, I'm packing. Well, I'm going to start packing during the week. I sprayed roaches. Oh, my God. This place is horrible with roaches. I sprayed. They, they've been dying. They've been dizzy since, <laughs> since at five when I decided to spray i forgot to do i didn't forget to do it last night i just came to bed and then i got tired and then i passed out and woke up this morning at five so i went to go spray in the kitchen <sighs> i sprayed in the kitchen and now at least i've got sandy's bed yeah but anywho i just wanted to come out say hey hope everyone is good and I will see you, I don't know, I'm supposed to go out with my friend Dumi today. It was her birthday yesterday. We we're supposed to go, uh, we don't even know where we're going to go. We said we check out places on TikTok. But majority of the places I've been seeing on TikTok have been like, how do I say it very nicely? Coffee places. And she was, uh, she wanted to go out this morning for hiking. I was like, nah, boo, I'm not doing that. And also go out again this evening for whatever, clubbing, dinner, whatever. I'm like, nah. So that's that. And yeah, if any of you have not watched my human rights vlog, please go back one vlog and go watch. Uh, we went out to Hennep's Pride with my sister and my son. And this weekend, I don't know where I'm going to go with Dumi. All right, hello. Back from the shop, I just needed to get him below something to eat quickly because the loaf of bread that we had actually got moldy. But anyway, um, got a fresh loaf of bread, we got tea, little eggs, uh, tin fish. This was actually on special for like 45 rand for two. Tomato sauce, mayo, and two cans of beans, and some sugar, brown sugar. And then I got a packet of apples, red apples, crunchy red apples, I like those. A packet of tomatoes, and a small packet of potatoes. Or mashed chips or whatever it is that I end up making with it. We've got porridge. This was on special for 24 rand. We got two of them. Oh damn, it's spinning. We got two of them. We got a vanilla one and what is this? Toffee caramel. And the other one is strawberry. Uh, we got tea from Vigo, Ray Boss. Uh, some ham. And then is cheap so i've got russians because i wanted a russian right now this is just pork and then boards for today i need to make dinner before i actually go out today um like i mentioned i am gonna go out with my friend to do me i'm quickly just gonna pack this away 
Um, it's probably like 12 o'clock right now. I'm gonna start cooking there by two and then by four I should be done and just quickly take a shower. Another shower because I lost showered at night. But anyway, let me quickly pack these away and then just chill for a bit. Two o'clock, one o'clock, I'll start cooking and that will be that. Quick little outfit check. I've got my mustard top and the skirt I stole from Pilo from Zandi I mean and shoes that I'm gonna borrow from Zandi I'll show you guys just after I get dressed give me a second alrighty here I am outfit check okay sorry I haven't changed my shoes I've got the little skirt I got from home the other time this used to be Zandi's skirt but obviously it's too big on her and it's mighty fine on me right now and i've got an old top i've had this top since years ago when my cousin got married probably like 20 2019 sorry you guys can't really see can i zoom you guys can't really see it's um offshore the type of thing it's really really cute anyway i'm i'm late i'm about to leave to me lift wonder park about 30 minutes ago i'm about to leave Cha! looking all kind of sweet uh anyway um yeah go to sips already i will see you guys later bye hey loves hey my loves we are on the way we are going to coffee i'm gonna go with my friend she called me at half past five telling me that she's gonna be here at six I'm literally five minutes away, max. Anywho, I just wanted to come out, say hey. I'm still here, I'm still around. Yo guys, I've been listening to David the music. I wanted to play you guys some David the music on my way to a coffee. Man, Jay, knife, knife, a judge. My judge doesn't want to connect to my phone. It connects, but it doesn't want to play the music from my phone. This makes it should have just gone in front of me because I'm not I'm not about to go faster any faster than I'm, I'm going right now. Anywho. Oh my gosh guys. One more human. girl. What a beautiful girl I am right now. Anyway, bye babies. Hey vlog, um, it's Sunday. I am so tired. So tired because I went outside yesterday. Nginga is not me. I am not the problem. The problem is the outside. I went outside yesterday. We celebrated with Dumi. I didn't vlog. I didn't pick up my phone not once. We sat at coffee until 12. And then we left. We went home. Yo, nina. I just slept a good two hours here on the couch. Now I need to start cooking because it's almost four and I still haven't cooked. Yo, guys. There's two things. The other one, I always talk about it. It's annoying. I talk about it because it annoys me so much. And now the other one, um, we don't really see how no we always see it but we never talk about it how difficult parenting is <laughs> so we had a case where my kid hit another kid on the playground yeah with his shoe he threw a shoe and the shoe hit this other child this other child now child child a is my child child b is a child that got hit with my son's shoe after my son threw it he was very wrong for that um after he got after child b got hit with the shoe mm. child b went and beat up my kid high difference is literally this bad between the two kids but anyway um he beats her up he be beats him up my kid comes running into the house shortly after um his friend comes running as well holding my 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 child's shoes 
um, his friend, I'm not going to give him a title because he's not a part of the story. He's an innocent member here. I'm just talking about these two. So child A stays in the house and you see that he's looking very agitated. I don't ask anything. I, I never want to get involved in playground things. Whether my kid is wrong or whether my kid is anything. I, I So long as nobody's getting hurt, I'm not getting involved. Go sort it between yourselves. You guys can talk about this real quick. Get to an agreement and let's move, right? Because I feel like I don't get involved because how many things am I going to get my get involved in how many things am i going to have to go and speak on behalf of my child when is he going to get to a point where he needs to realize that one you can't be throwing shoes while there's people around somebody might get hurt um if you say something do something wrong people will retaliate you know and if you get beat up because you had a big mouth and now they hit you that's on you child so you need to learn how to act in society right you can't be throwing out shoes can't be I don't know doing things or pushing people you know first of all you're a very tall boy you're stronger than a lot of kids so just try act in a way that's going to ensure that everybody will be safe cool so then child b so my child a and his friend stay in the house i ask what happened the friend says to me no we were playing at the playground and child a threw his shoe his shoe hit child b child b beat him up and then child a ran away and came home so i collected his shoes and i followed him oh okay so what's the problem now he says to me no the problem is that child b has said the next time he sees child a he will beat him up i'm like can't you guys go back and go talk to him about it let this thing finish off quickly they say no um child a says no i'm scared i'm like you're gonna have to figure out something either you go back out now and apologize if you apologize now it'll make the situation simmer down real quickly if you don't if you stay away eventually when you do get out trust me that's going to fuel that person's anger again because you're letting it rest over a couple of days. He doesn't go out that day. Okay. Eventually, child B comes through on our floor with his friends. And I can hear that there's a group of kids outside. I don't go approach them. Eventually, he comes to knock. Hi, my name is child B. And your child hit me. I'm like, oh, okay, did you hit him back? He says, yes. I'm like, oh, then it's fair and square. You got hit and you hit him back. Did you not? He says, yes, I did. I'm like, oh, no, he says, your child mistakenly hit me with his shoe. I'm like, cool, no problems. It's fair and square. You got hit, you hit him back. There's no one owing anybody of a beating. It's fair and square. He doesn't like what I said. And he storms off with his friends. I'm like, okay. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. So, child A doesn't go out. That was on Tuesday. Wednesday, he doesn't go out. My sister tells me that he was um, at home the whole day. Thursday, we had plans. So, I didn't really see whether he was in the house or not. Because we, we were not in the house from the morning. We left here around 10 o'clock after 10 so there was no need for him to be going to the play area friday i worked from home he stayed in the house the whole day i asked him i think around before i went online because he was walking around a lot and because child a is an outside child he he plays a lot i asked him listen are you not gonna go outside because now you've got all this pent up energy and you don't know what you're going to do with yourself. You keep walking up and down. I'm working. What's up? He's like, no, I can't go because I think uh, child B is at the play area. I'm like, oh, you're still on that. 
Gandhi, did you not speak to those boys? So was, no. He said he's gonna beat me up. I'm like, I I can go outside and see. He goes outside, he stayed outside for less than 15 minutes, guys. Less than 15 minutes. Then he was back. He's like, No, I'm scared. He was at the play area, so I came back. I'm like, yo, oh, until when are you going to be hiding out? Until when are you going to be hiding out? He says, No, if he says he's gonna beat me, I'm not gonna be outside. If I know there's a beating for me outside, I'm not going. I'm like, okay. Chill vibes. Do as you please. Yesterday was Saturday. I don't think he went outside much yesterday. He was here. Because Nami, I was here most of yesterday. Today, he stayed in up until... I slept around about at 2. At 2 when I slept, he had just finished writing his letter. He said he wants to go write a letter to child B and apologize and say it's very unfortunate and 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 say he's sorry and everything so child b's mother came to get what the story is because apparently child a just threw the letter through the kitchen window that is scary he shouldn't be doing throwing things into people's houses so he came to get the store she came to get the story the mom i sat down with her i told her what the jazz the, the jazz is and she was like oh, okay i need to talk to my child because she needs to talk to her child that's what she said that she needs to talk to her child because she doesn't want her child to become a bully and yeah so i was telling her that no man don't get involved in playground stuff sharp you can guide and advise your child but like don't get involved in playground stuff these kids beat each other one got hit by a shoe he beat up the other kid it should be fair and square it's unfortunate that he still wants to beat up child um child a he's like that that's exactly my problem child she says child a has now stayed in the house for close to a week because she, he's scared that he's gonna get beat up by child b that's not the behavior that i want my child to have i'm like oh, okay no you can talk to your child but that's the story that's what i got and he admitted that he got hit by mistake he admitted that he had beat up child a um so i don't know Maybe there's still something else that he needs to get get off his chest. But now, I don't know, it's getting to a point where, I don't know, child A is now scared to even function as a child. So, eh, I was sleeping so nice. So nice until I heard the knock. In my head, I'm thinking, yo, some child wanting an icy candy. No. No. It's not even anyone wanting an ice. It's, it's God. It's God. Guys, being a parent, imagine following up on a story like this. Just because you're trying to understand, trying to trying to figure out is your child bullying somebody or not. Like, oh, that is so sad. Now, wherever she is, I'm sure she's antsy trying to get the story from her child. Her child is not even here. Sorry, I've got a knock. Hold on. I'm coming. Good morning, loves. Um, it's now Monday morning. I did not close out my vlog yesterday. So I'm just here to say thank you for watching. I do love you guys. I will see you in my next vlog. I just told you the story about um, my child and other child. And I think that was the end of it. And then I thought I was going to cook with you guys. I didn't do that. I, I didn't shoot anything else yesterday. I was tired. But anyway, I just wanted to come out and say bye y'all. See you in my next vlog. See you next weekend. Love you.